Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in the previous video, we have already talked about a set interface hierarchy and then uh, we have created this particular diagram. And today we will talk about what is hash a set, what are different various methods are available and what kind of mathematical operations we can perform using hash set, right? So this is my Eclipse. I've already created one separate package for that and hash set concept or Java are that I have created. So as I as we know that okay hash set is ultimately is the implementation of set interface so I can do a top casting over here and I can provide the generics I cannot create the object of a set interface because it's an interface and an in interface I cannot create the object so what I'm going to do that I'm going to uh, create the uh, simple reference over here for the set and then I want to store let's see only string type of values and let's see this is my hash set is equal to new a uh, hash set I'm going to create and then again a string type of values in the diamond bracket and import this particular set from the java.util package and hash set that you have to import from java.util package perfect so you can see that both the imports got created now how will you add the value you simply add the value by using hs.add method and then let's see I'm adding some value over here let's see uh, a like that hs dot add I'm adding some value let's see uh, testing over here right I'm ab I'm able to add only string values because I have given the generics as a string only and hs dot add I'm adding let's see some value <coughs> um, beta like that so I'm writing let's see I'm alpha testing beta like that and then I'm going to print this particular uh, hs over here let's see what should be the output so if you print it you are getting testing alpha and beta and it will maintain the same hashing concept while storing the values but you need to understand one thing that hash set will not allow you to take any duplicate values so let's uh, do that let's see i'm adding um, alpha once again right and then i'm trying to print it you will get alpha only once you can see that alpha testing beta you can see over here but alpha is not showing two times you can you can add multiple times but at the runtime you will get only one alpha fine if you try to add hs dot add if you try to add any null values in any hash set over here let's say i'm adding null so let's see am i getting null or not so here you are getting null over here like that okay so remember duplicate elements are not allowed and uh, if you try to add the duplicate elements all the duplicate elements will be ignored right guys so i simply write <clears throat> how will you access the value so to access the value remember one thing that you can start a loop over here and it does not maintain any order that you need to understand that it does not maintain any order so very simple you can directly print hs over here let's see i'm printing hs it's printing on the console like that Second thing is that you can check that uh, like this system dot out print ln and you can check this hs dot contains method is there that it contains uh, testing or not if it contains testing it will give you true otherwise it will give you false so right now it's giving you true over here like that so you can use contains method you can check that if you really want to use a for loop I can use a for each loop let's see I simply say that okay a string type of values e over here what is your uh, hash set name hs and then you write to print system dot out print ln print the value of e over here and then you run it again so what will you get you are getting null testing alpha and beta over here like that so you can iterate the value with the help of for each loop other than that what you can do is that you can remove the values also so let's remove the value i simply write hs dot uh, remove and you can pass that okay hey let's see i want to remove uh, beta from this particular hash set and then i'm printing hs once again and then you run it so you will see that okay beta got deleted from here then let's see what i want that so this is the first way of you can iterate you can iterate using the iterator also okay so you can iterating over the hash set items so how can you do that you can simply write hs dot iterator you can apply you can see that and which will return iterator of a string so i simply write iterator of a string over here let's see it is equal to this and this iterator you have to import 
So let me quickly import from java.util package. And then you can write a while loop over here that if iterator dot has next, then system dot auto print ln keep printing id dot next. The typical way we were using in uh, in hash map as well as in uh, arrays also in array list also. So you can see that again it's printing the same value. Okay, like that. <clears throat> so this is the way we can simple. Uh, added we can remove it we can uh, get the value contains function is available as i told you earlier that okay you can perform some mathematical operation also right some um like u and n you can get the difference you can get the intersection also you can do that okay so how to do this so for example let's see i'm going to add three uh, or two sets let's see i'm going to create so i simple write set of integer this time and i simple write integer and my first uh, set I'm writing, let's see, first is equal to a new hash uh, set over here, which is also once again integer like that. Okay. And then instead of adding this, I can directly write it like that, that uh, in this particular uh, hash set, I simply say that uh, first dot add all method is there which is taking any kind of collection so or you add individually like that in multiple lines like one two three or something like this let's say i'm using add all and i can use any collection over here so i simply say that okay arrays dot as list and as a list i'm adding what kind of values you want to add so let's say i want to add one new integer array over here and then i'm going to add some values so let's see i'm adding 1 comma 4 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 6 comma uh, 8 comma 9 comma 10 like that i have added now what i'm going to do let me just remove this yep so this is the first set i have created and then i'm going to create one more set over here with some different values let's see this is my second set and uh, i'm here writing let's see one three I simple write let's see five then i'm simple writing let's see this is zero and then let's see only nine like that so this is my second set so second dot add all like that now i want to get the union of both the sets union means combine both the sets together so for getting the union i'm going to create one more set over here and that set also will be integer type and let's say i'm going to create this is my union union is equal to new hash set okay again i'm writing integer and uh, like that and here what you have to pass here you just simple pass that first set over here so i'm quickly passing first set over here like that in the hash set constructor and then i simple write union dot add all with a second that's it and then i'm printing this System dot auto print ln print this entire union over here. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's run it. So can you see that I'm getting the union uh, with both the things? One, zero, one, three, five, four will be taken from here. Six, eight, nine, ten, like that. So let's see. I introduce two also over here, and then I should start getting two also. So now you can see that okay, I'm getting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. And let's see, I have, uh, I'll add a 7 over here as well. So now if you union together, I'm getting 1, 2, 10 complete values. It means it will combine both the things, but it will uh, automatically it will uh, remove the duplicate values because in set we cannot store the duplicate values over here. So this is the union we can get it right now. Let me write a separator over here so that we will see the next output after this line then intersection so i simple write get the get the intersection from the two sets so again i'm going to create one more intersection um, set over here so let's see this is my intersection set right and then i'm again doing the same thing passing first over here intersection dot one method is there guys retain all okay retain all with second okay and then i'm going to print this particular intersection once again uh intersection so let's see are we getting the intersection items so can you see that uh from the first and second 
you can see only and only the intersection items. It means the common items we will be getting. So we were having this uh, one, then three, then five, then six, and then nine. Okay, so get the intersection elements means all the common elements between these two sets. So this is intersection. Third one is the difference. Okay, get the uh, differences. So for get the differences, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one more set over here. And let's see, this is like diff I'm going to create. And I simply write diff dot. There is a method, remove all method is there. And remove all with the second, I would say. And then system dot or print ln print diff over here. And I simply write like this. Now let's see. Now the output you can see only we are getting four, eight, and 10. You can see that the difference between these two sets over here. So all the common uh, values will be uh, removed and then you are getting four, eight, and 10. Five, six, eight, five, six, seven, eight will be removed. Oh, sorry, five, six, seven will be removed and one, two, three also will be removed. And nine also will be removed. So you will get only four, eight, 10. So only the difference between uh, two sets, you will be getting it. So this is how we can get the differences and it's very a famous interview equation also. How will you get the union intersections and the differences? Prepare this very, very simple. You can if you're getting confused guys, you can add the individual values also by using the add method over here the way we have added and then you can uh, get the union and differences and the intersection over there. Right, so this is the for uh, another way of uh, getting I mean uh, doing the mathematical operation with the hash set over here right so um yep so this is about the basic stuff uh, later on i'll tell you the next video i'll tell you what is enum set in the tree set and the link hash sets so till then take care i'll see you in the next video please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues thank you so much guys